Hi guys, this is a tutorial for Blue Velvet by Lana Del Rey. I know it's not originally by Lana Del Rey, but this is the Lana Del Rey version. Um, yeah, everything as usual that you will need is down in the description box, so go check that out. Apart from that, let's just get started with this tutorial. So, for the introduction, we want a B flat. Okay, so here's middle C. And we want B flat, D, F, with B flats in the left hand. D minor, so it's D, F, A, with Ds in the left hand. And then just hit the F, and then a D. Okay, then a C minor, so it's C, E flat, G, with two Cs in the left hand. And then we hit the C by itself, and then Fs. Okay, so F, A, C, with an F in the left hand. I usually just take one F because that one's a little bit too low down. You can if you want to, but one is fine, okay? So the intro goes like this. We just repeat B minor, D minor, C minor, and then an F. Okay. And then when we go into the verse, it's exactly the same. So B flat, she wore blue, D minor. I will play through the intro and the first verse three for you. from the D minor and then you hit the D minor again and then C sharp minor okay so that is C sharp E and G sharp with two C sharps in the left hand and then down to a C minor okay so like this she wore blue C minor again. So we go to an F minor, okay? So that's just like a normal F, but with the A, we take it to an A flat. And then to a B flat, okay? So I'll play that whole part through for you. She wore blue.
this next part, we want an E flat. Oh, I just hit the camera with my hair. Okay, so that is an E flat, G, B flat, two E flats in the left hand. Arms of love I held tightly. And then we go to an E flat minor, okay? So where we had our finger on the G, we want a G flat, and it's a seventh. So we want this D flat up here. Okay? Just with E flats in the left hand still, so. As a love I held tightly, feeling around you. Okay, so this is D minor seventh. So it's just like a regular D minor, but we add on a C, okay? With a D, a D in the left hand, sorry, okay? Okay, so this is a B flat seventh, so it's just like a regular B flat, but we add an A flat on the end. Okay. Now, if you struggle with any of these seventh chords, you can just have them as the regular chords, so the D minor, B flat. You don't have to have it as a seventh, it just adds that little bit of extra pizzazz to the chord. Okay, so I will play those first two lines through for you, so... As a love I held tightly, feeling the rapture grow. And then we go down to an E flat major seventh. Okay? So, oh my god, I keep hitting the camera with my hair. So it's E flat, G, B flat, and E flat. Okay, with two E flats in the left hand. And this one really, really hurts my hand, so. Feeling the rapture grow like a flame burning, and back to an E flat minor seventh brightly. D minor, but when she left, and we go up to a C sharp minor seventh. Okay, so it's just like C sharp minor, but with a B on the end. And then C minor seventh, which is just like a C minor, but with a B flat on the end. <laughs> okay, so I know this is a lot, um, but once you nail these chords, they really sound great during the chorus. So, okay, so that part should sound like this, and this actually kills my hands. So, I don't blame you if you're finding this difficult. <laughs> like a flame burning brightly. back to a B flat, blue, D minor, velvet, this bit, but in my heart there'll always be precious and warm the memory through the years, F minor, B flat, and I still So for that last line, it's B flat, D minor seven, E flat major seventh, and then E flat minor seventh, and then B flat. Okay, so I'm going to play that last part through for you. As a love I held tightly.
keyboards, even I struggle with switching around because they really, really kill your wrists. Some of them, especially that E flat major seventh, is a real wrist killer. So, um, I mean, if you don't want to do E flat major seventh, E flat is fine. Okay, so it's really up to you. So I'm just trying to give you the most comprehensive version that I can give you and then if you want to modify it and make it easier, that's absolutely fine. Like I said, you can do that. You can take the sevenths off of the chords. You can make that E flat, major seventh, just an E flat. Um, it's really up to you. Okay, so for the last part, obviously it is um, done on string instruments, which makes it a little bit harder. But basically what I think sounds best is if you take a B flat chord, and then D minor, and then hit an F, C minor, A, G, B flat, and then to an F chord, and then to a B flat. Okay, so that's what I think sounds best. It's really up to you if you want to play around with those chords, but I'll play that through for you. Okay, so I am going to attempt to play the whole thing through for you. Uh, my wrists might fall off during the chord changes, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that and if you're not subscribed already and you did enjoy it and find it helpful, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Apart from that, like I said at the beginning, everything that you need is down in the description box. Hope you're well and that you enjoyed this tutorial and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Bye!